Good morning, everyone. We have overflow seating available <laughs> in the members' lounge. Uh, thank you to my colleagues for joining us um, here on the Health Committee today, joined by Health Committee members Keith Powers, Alika Ampri Samuel, and the lead sponsor of our bill, Minority Leader Matteo. Um, today, we're going to be taking up the matter of AEDs for the second time in two years um, as an important tool in our fight to save lives amongst our young people. Um, this is a, a response to the second highest cause of death in athletes younger than age 14, which is commodio cordis, typically caused by a sudden blunt trauma to the anterior chest, resulting in cardiac arrest and sudden death. Um, this is a very, very frightening accident that, if it occurs, uh, can be fatal. Um, uh, unless uh, first aid is administered in a matter of minutes, um, and def portable defibrillators, known as AEDs, are an incredibly effective tool for saving lives. 95% of patients who receive a uh, def defibrillation shock in the first minute of cardiac arrest survive. And so we were very thrilled in 2016, uh, under the leadership of, um, of Minority Leader Matteo, to pass Local Law 57 which required AEDs be available uh, for youth baseball league games on land under jurisdiction of the Parks Department. And following on that success, we are considering today Intro 189, also sponsored by um, uh, Minority Leader Matteo, as well as Council Members Brandon and Kalos, which would extend these requirements to youth baseball, baseball leagues. So with that, I'm going to pass it over to our Minority Leader for his opening comments. Thank you, uh, Chair Levine. Uh, the Education um, Committee with Joint the Finance might have stolen our thunder today, but um, a very, very important bill that I'm proud that we're going to be passing. And I want to start off by thanking you for your leadership uh, on this very important issue. Uh, thank the Speaker um, for his partnership. Um, as you mentioned, two years ago, we passed legislation um, that the speaker and I introduced that requires an operable AED to be present in every Little League game and practice played on a city-owned field. Um, and as we went through the legislation, instead of just providing AEDs at fields, we actually gave them to the coaches. So they'll have them at practices and all the games. Um, uh, Local Law 57, as you said, the AEDs and training sessions for coaches and league officials are, the, are in their proper use are now provided free of charge by the Parks Department. As I said on many occasions, my intention has always been to ex continue to expand AED access and provide them for youth softball leagues is the next logical step. Intro 189A will do just that. This bill will build on the great success we have already had with the Little League AED program. In fiscal year 2018, Parks deployed more than 1,500 AEDs to Little Leagues across the city, held more than 435 AED training sessions, and certified more than 3,000 people, including coaches, Little League officials, and parents in their use. According to Parks, about 100 youth softball leagues that field about 500 teams would be added to this program under this bill. I don't think it's necessary to reiterate to all of you the irrefutable evidence that proves why immediate access to an AED is critical in a cardiac emergency. It is very clear, AED save lives. That is why I will continue to introduce additional legislation to expand AEDs and to work with all of you on ways we can make more of these absolutely indispensable life-saving tools available for all New Yorkers. So I urge my colleagues to vote yes in favor of this legislation, and thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Minority Leader, and with that, I'm going to ask our committee clerk, Billy Martin, to call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on health, introduction 189A, Chair Levine. I vote aye. Ampri Samuel. I vote aye. Powers. Aye, and congratulations to Councilmember Matteo. I vote of three in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstention. Item is adopted by the committee. Okay, I think we're going to hold the vote open. We have um, one member in transit. Uh, for, can we do 20 minutes? Great. Thank you all. <laughs>